Come on, Kangen team. I know it's early in the morning, but we can do this. Where's that energy? Thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up if you can see and hear me okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. That's what we're going to need here. Um, firstly, before we begin, we've got a very exciting call here with Sam Sia, the whole way from Malaysia. He's tuned in here. He's live at the moment. Uh, myself, Anthony, John, and Sam had a call yesterday to just to go over the preparations for what we'll be covering here today. So it's very important that we all show up like we've done. We're refreshed, we're ready, we're recharged, and we are going to take this training serious. How many people here are serious? Raise your hand for me nice and high. Nice and high so I can see you right on the camera. Okay, cool, excellent. Um, and the content and the, the, that is gonna be covered here by Sam today is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. And myself, Anthony, and John even were having aha moments in the call yesterday. We were like, oh wow, there's one thing in particular that I'm very excited for you guys to see on this presentation. Um, that will inevitably change your game. Um, and this, this content that we're going to be covering here today is coming from Enagic's top, 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 top leader. So I really think that it's not coming from any of us here in the call, except the one and only Sam Sia, who has been in Enagic for about nine years, I believe, or so, has smashed it, has been just incredible. This guy's results is just more than enough to motivate each and every single one of us to continue to go out there and to pursue this business. Um, and for those of you who don't know who I am, um, I've been working with Anthony and with Sam and for, with the team for close to maybe two years now, two and a half years. Um, and Ajik has completely changed my life. I travel all around the world. I just enjoy life. I try to make a positive impact in the world everywhere I go. And that's the mission and the drive that we're on here right now is to help change as many lives as we possibly can by hydrating the world one by one. So just very quickly before I pass it over to Anthony and before we um, get started on the training here today, uh, just to lay out how it's going to work, I'm going to pass it over to Anthony and Anthony's going to introduce and bring out uh, Sam for us. Throughout that presentation, Sam will be covering some key components and content within the Enagic business that is relevant to each and every single one of you who are serious, okay? So like I said, for those of you who haven't um, heard me at the beginning, I said, grab yourself a notepad and a pen and a piece of paper or whatever it is that you need to take down some notes because you're gonna wanna write some things down to have some key reference to, okay? Make sense so far? Thumbs up, okay? Your concentration is gonna to need to be here 100% with us as well. So try to avoid all distractions. If you can make sure noise is turned off in the background, put your phones on silent, airplane mode. Try not to be distracted, right? Because where focus, where, where focus goes, energy flows and results show. And we want that for every single one of us here on the call, myself included. My focus is gonna be here with Sam, learning this content so that we can take it, apply it and get the results in our business. Clear so far? Thumbs up. Okay. Anybody who has got any questions throughout the presentation where maybe Sam could be covering something and you do not quite understand it or you do not quite get it, please write it down. Let's not interrupt the call. Write it down and speak to your mentor or your coach or somebody who is on this call who can maybe help you to clarify that after the call is over. And the reason why we ask that is because if Sam's in flow going through his presentation and then next thing all these questions are coming in, um, it's kind of a wee bit distracting for the speaker as well. So we're just gonna respect that we've got Sam's time on here this morning to uh, allow him to flow and to present what it is that he wishes to present for us. Um, after that, after the whole presentation has come to a conclusion, then uh, John, John Cox is on here. Everybody say, hi, John. You can see John here. John's got a thumbs up. Uh, we're gonna host like a 15 minute maybe Q&A for anybody that's got any questions for Sam. Now, It'd be really amazing if you guys could pop your questions into the chat box on Zoom so John doesn't need to keep asking you guys what your questions are. Let's just pop them in the chat group towards the end of the call so that John can take the calls or take the questions, ask them to Sam, and we can get you guys your answers. Clear so far? Yes? Okay, fantastic. So that's it from me. I'm going to pass it over to Anthony. Just make sure you got your notepad, your pen, your piece of paper, some water, and have full attention and focus. And for those of you who I haven't met before, looking forward to getting to know some of you guys a little bit more and to grow and to develop and to inspire each other to continue to go out there and smash this business. But that's it for me. Anthony, going to pass it over to you. Sam, rock the call. Thank you so much for being here with us. 
Thank you very much, Liam. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're well. Can you all hear me okay? Can you give me a thumbs up or just type yes in the message box if you can hear me? All, all clear, Anthony. Yep. Oh, amazing. So super excited to see all of you on this call. And uh, I just want to acknowledge every single one of you for joining this call. And uh, just before I begin, can I just maybe just hear from uh, or just type in the message box just so I know who I'm speaking to and, and where you're dialing in from, more importantly. So maybe just type in the message box where you are dialing in from. Uh, I think we seem to have an international audience over here today. Uh, Dovlet says he's from London, Lena from London, Che Wang here from Bhutan, uh, Angel from London. So quite a few international people joining us. Hi all. Uh, so yeah, brilliant everybody. So for the, I think I, I've met all of you, I've met most of you so far, but um, uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, just very briefly, um, uh, I'm a father, a husband, uh, 40 years old this year, and um, uh, about three years ago, uh, I left a, a corporate company called Burberry and uh, been uh, with Enagic ever since. Uh, and I'm uh, enjoying the water, enjoy, enjoying the journey with Enagic so far. And um, uh, you know, we've been able to be, uh, be, be, you know, be very grateful to build an international team of around uh, 15 countries so far. And, um, um, you know, I've wanted to, to you know, spend some time, lock down some time with, with Sam uh, for this training. And, um, you know, I, he's, been, he's been pretty busy uh, for the last few weeks. I know he's been traveling around um, uh, Japan and in one minute he's in, he's in Dubai and the next he's in India. So well, I thought, what better time? than now to, to lock down some time with Sam. Okay, I know it's a very tough situation now with this situation where we've got with Corona. And uh, it's great to see that so many of you have now spent time uh, to join us on this call. Um, I think some of you said no, no sound. I think you guys probably just need to check on that um, if you can hear me, if you can't hear me. So maybe just some of the co-hosts can look into that. Um, hey, hey, Rebecca from Holland. Oh, a few guys here from Florida. Oh, well done, well done, guys. Um, so let me just give you a very brief background about Sam, for those of you who don't know who he is. Um, I've got to know this incredible, incredible man I'm just about to bring on now. For about four years, he was introduced to me by my uh, brother, who was also introduced me, who introduced me to, to, the, to the water, to Enagic. And uh, first time I met him was in, was in London, uh, I think 2015, 2016. And, uh, and then we spent a bit of time traveling around together to LA, to Malaysia, India, any time I thought I could uh, spend some time, you know, to learn from him. Now, I've been involved in this business for about four years, three, four years, three years full time. And I'm still learning and I'm a 682-2 and I'm still learning so much every single day from, from this incredible guy. And um, as, as Liam alluded to earlier, he's been involved in this business for about six, seven years. And he has... Uh, he has sold machine wise, I think he sold around close to 150,000 units within his organization. Just imagine, guys, if you had 150,000 odd units within your organization, what would that do for your business? Yeah. So, uh, listen, I, I think that's kind of enough from me for the time being. Um, but just before we, we, we begin, um, uh, yeah, as, as Liam said, you know, take plenty of notes because, you know, I've had me, Liam, and, and John. Had a little brief snapshot of of uh, of what he's about to show you guys uh, today, because we thought rather than just doing an interview, asking him questions, it was um, it was very very generous of of Sam to be able to spend some time with us and and sh and rather and, and show us uh, within about an hour or so um, some of the key distinctions that's that's going to you know excel each and every one of your uh, your magic business. So. Um, so yeah, so we are, uh, you know, this guy is very, very supportive, is very, very humble, uh, very, 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 very driven. So he want, you know, we want to make this business work for each and every single one of you. So without further ado, we are now going to bring on Mr. Sam Sia. Are you there, Sam? Can we just unmute Sam, please, guys? Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, all good hey. and clear. Right. Okay. I think uh, this is the first time that I'm I'm speaking to to many of you here. Uh, there's also some many uh, familiar faces. So it's great to be here. Thanks uh, for inviting me, uh, uh, Liam and uh, John and Anthony. Right. So how's it going? 
Right. Okay. We are we are also having a lockdown in Malaysia. Uh, started on the 18th, which was about well close to uh, nine days ago, and it was going to be, ha be happening for two weeks. And just yesterday, the government ex ex uh, declared an additional two more weeks. So we are on uh, partial lockdown for a period of four weeks. So how is it in, uh, I understand that you're experiencing the same thing in London as well, right, Anthony? Yeah, we've just had a lockdown, uh, just a, a full lockdown a few days ago, so they're phasing it out. So yeah, we're all, that's why we've got so many people jumping on, on a Friday morning, I guess. <laughs> right, right, okay. Well, this is rather unfortunate with this uh, COVID-19, but uh, yes, what can I say, right? So who here, who here wants to get the, who here wants to have some fun and also get some uh, new distinctions? Say hi, put your hands up and say hi so I can see. Great, okay. All right, so okay, I'm gonna be calling, I'm gonna be using my PowerPoint. In fact, I was, I was thinking of using a flip chart, but I found out it's, it's not gonna work as well as, the, as, as, uh, as I can do it with the PowerPoint. So I'm gonna call up my PowerPoint now. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. One second. So the missing links, the missing links in your Kangen business, right? I'll be sharing you with you some key distinctions and this will be going on for about 45 minutes or, or so. All right. Okay. Let's get going. The first distinction that I'd like to share with you is this. Now this, this key distinction is right, it's going to be relevant whether you're new or whether you are, you are, uh, you are an experienced uh, distributor, okay? So the first key distinction is this, the biggest challenge in our business, I'm talking about in the context of the Kangen business before the COVID-19, all right? So of course, uh, now that we have a COVID-19, um, the, 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 uh, the, the game has, has changed uh, remarkably, all right? So let's, I'm talking about the, how it was before COVID-19. So now what would, what would be your biggest challenge in the energy business? I'll tell you what, it, it is two things, okay? Firstly, you'll be getting objections that it is expensive, all right? And the second biggest challenge that you'll be getting is you'll be getting a lot of rejections, right? Now, let me, let me just give you some good news and also some bad news. As, as always, we always start off, start off with the bad news first, okay? Now, doing the energy business is not easy. That is the bad news, all right? Let me just call something up here. How do I, uh... Anthony, are you there? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh... Now, how do I call up, how, okay, hang on. Do how do I sort of, how do I, how do I see everybody and then bring my, uh, my PowerPoint and reduce my PowerPoint? So you should still be able to see yourself. I can still see your PowerPoint and everybody as well. I can only see, I can only see six uh, windows of okay. people. Okay. So do you want to just stop sharing then? If you can just stop sharing and then we can go back All to right. it. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. Now I've just said the bad news is Doing the energy business is not easy. How many of you agree with me on that from a show of hands? Right, okay, great. Well, it is not easy, okay? Now, would you like to know what the good news is? Yeah, everybody? Doing any business, there's no, there's no business which is easy. There's no business in this world which is easy, <laughs> all right? Can you see that? So you have a bad news, which doing the hanging business is not easy. The good news is no business is easy. And also doing the Kangen business is a lot easier than many other businesses. How many of you agree with me on that? That doing the Kangen business is a lot easier than many other businesses. Now in any business that you do, right? You have to put in a lot of work. All right, you can't, there's no, there's no such thing as a free lunch, okay? 
Now let's let us let us let's move on to the let me just call up the uh, the PowerPoint again. So so I want to talk about I want to talk about the fact that the uh, the Nagic uh, machine is is expensive. Now how many of you here? Okay, I need your participation, guys. Can I get your participation from a show of hands? Okay. Now how many of you here? Feel that the energetic machine is expensive from a show of hands. Okay, some many hands are up. Okay. And how many of you, right? How many of you have this issue on your in your head that uh, the energetic machine it is expensive because of the high payout of commissions? You have this, your story in your head is the machine is expensive because of all the high commissions which is being paid out. How many of you have that idea in your head? I can see some hands, not all, not all the hands are up. Okay. Now I would like to clear for you. I'll let it clear it for you right now in this meeting that if you have this idea that the machine is expensive because the commission is, is of the high payout, then you'll be having an issue in selling the machine. Do you know what I'm saying? If you cannot come to terms that it is not the commissions which is making the machine expensive. Okay. Or rather, if you cannot come to terms that it is not the commission which is making the machine expensive, I want to cover. I want to cover that now. In the next five minutes, right, I will be able to just oblit obliterate that idea in your head that the machine is expensive because of high commissions. How is that? Would that be good? Yeah. So, if you can accept that it is not ex expensive because of high commissions. And then you, once you can embrace it, right? You be that, that's a huge breakthrough for you already, isn't it? All right. And then you can also pre, be able to present to your prospects why it is not expensive. Okay. Let me just call up the the PowerPoint. Expensive. Now look at this. Everybody, okay. This is okay. This is this is how much it costs to make the machine. All right. Now, of course, because of the commissions we are paying, the price is higher than the cost. Now you can say that the X factory cost of the machine, the price coming out from the machine is about one third of the selling price. So the two thirds of the selling price goes to pay to, to be paid out as commissions. So I know a lot of you you have this idea that it's expensive and but what are we what are we getting here? All right, the price is what you're paying, but the value is what you're getting. You're getting the value. You're paying something. The price is what you're paying, but the value is what you are getting in return. So what are you what are you buying? What are you buying? You're buying the value of the machine, aren't you? Right? Yeah. So let me ask. Let me ask uh, some of you. I need. I, I know that we, we can't be possibly uh, be, uh, it's going to be a bit noisy. I need five volunteers. I need five volunteers here. Can we pick five volunteers? Anthony, I, do you have a, uh, Anthony, can you, can you uh, identify we can, the we can, we can We can sort out five yeah, volunteers. We can, yeah, we can find, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll do Christina and Steve. We'll do Lena. Yeah, Manal. Christina, Steve, Lena, yeah. uh, Manal. Chair Wang. Chair okay, one. Right. Hands up. Yeah. Okay, uh, who's anybody? the first volunteer? Uh, let's go, volunteer? Christina and Steve. So it's Steve. It's Steve on camera at the moment. So it's can you can you see Christina and Steve? Do you want me to unmute them? Uh, yes, Christina. Can you put your hands up, Christina? Okay, there they are. I've just unmuted you guys, okay, Christina. Steve. Christina, you're you're there. Can you hear, Christina? Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Christina. Let me ask you this. All right. What what is the value of the Kangen machine to you? It's invaluable to me because of the health benefits. Fine. Now I'd like to put it very. I'd like to put it. Put the question to you. If you were to put a dollar value to it, where are you from, by the way? From the U.S. From Florida. Okay. Now, if you were to put a dollar U.S. dollar value to the machine, how much is it worth to you? I know you say it's priceless, <laughs> but put a yeah. dollar value to it. Um, well, if I put an exchange, I will walk through my mindset 
if I put an exchange of what medical bills would be and the right. benefits of medical bills might be, um, my, my dad had open heart surgery that was about half a million dollars. <laughs> so, so I mean, okay. that, yeah. So, so but give, me a, give, give, me a, give me a figure. 500,000? All yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So the value to you is 500,000. Okay. How about the next, uh, the next volunteer? Who would that be? Uh, Lena? Uh, Lena? Le or Steve, Lena. Steve, 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 Steve there as well. Steve, so wait. Steve, you're saying the same thing? Steve, where are you, uh, Steve? So my, oh, Steve, my, okay. My experience is a little bit different than Christina's, um, but, but very, very similar. So um, dollar value, wow. Uh, because of my experience with the machine and then my experience medically in my past, um, okay. I see the lifetime value of the yep. machine. So I look at it like um, I've only had it oh, maybe six months now. Um, and I've been told that my K8 should last around 20 years. So if I, if I calculate based on that, I would say easily 20 to $50,000 like, like that. Um, okay. All right. If you Great. were to pile okay. up medical expenses, then even more. Right. Right. How about, how about, uh, how about, how about this? Uh, what about the, the, how about the value that you get from not falling sick? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah put, can you, can you come up with, can you put a dollar value on that? And, and, and what you call the, uh, the absence of suffering. What is the dollar value to you on the absence of suffering? That's so I'm, I'm going to lean towards her original answer of priceless. So, Again, in the past, I have spent a lot of time actually being sick, um, right. being in the hospital, having surgeries, things like that. So not only is there a dollar value to surgery itself, but then there's the impact that it has on your life and essentially the Correct. like the yep. misery and depression that I went through and being down and feeling ill and then trying to, to weigh that against how good I feel now. It's almost impossible. Like it <laughs> <laughs> but, but if we were to put a dollar value to it, right? It'd be worth a few million US dollars, wouldn't you say so? I would easily or say more? a million bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, can we move on to the next volunteer? Okay, Lena. Lena, who, where, where are you, Lena? Hi, Lena. Lena Liu, right? Yes. Just okay, unmute you have to Lena. unmute yourself. Lena, I'll just... All right, yeah, she's yeah. unmuted. Okay. Yeah. So, Lena, what is the value of the machine to you? Um, there's not, there's priceless. Priceless, but give me a dollar. By the way, where are you from, Lena? I'm from Malaysia. I live in London. Been in London uh -huh. for 23 years, I think. Okay. Years. So, so what, give, give a, give a pound, a sterling pound value to the machine. Um, what is it to you? Well, I can't measure my peace of mind because I now the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Beginning, yeah. I was. I was. Uh, uh, I, I know, but just we can just give, give a doll, give a doll, uh, give a pound sterling value. I'm, I'm, um, well, <laughs> I'm the only Chinese person with um, this calculator. I'm not. I can't, you know, with numbers. Num okay, numbers let me give you. Me. Let me give you an A B C D answer, right? Let me give you an A B C D answer. A is 500, 500 quid. B is five thousand quid. C is 500,000 quid. D is 5 million quid. What's your answer? A, B, C, or D? What, what is C again? C is 500,000 quid. D is 5 million quid. Sorry, like the number's gone off my head again. I <laughs> <laughs> numbers. Number okay. doesn't register in my head. It doesn't? Okay, all right. I'll have to accept that. So can we get on to the next volunteer? Okay, it's t t t Wong, is it? Chair Wang, Chair Wang, did you have your hands up? Let's yeah, I just, I'm, yeah, I muted you. Uh, uh, Wang. I can't yes, see. I'm here. Hands up. Oh, yeah, okay. Hi, Xi Wang, you were in Malaysia. Hi, hi. Yep. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. So, hi my, uh, yes, uh, I would say that the value will be about 500,000 million dollars. 500,000 million. <laughs> <laughs> million what? Your, your 500,000 million what? That's in what? US dollars? Or which currency are you talking about? Oh, sorry. I mean, I have calculated in my currency about 500,000 okay. million. Sorry. Actually, I was calculating like I am 25 years old now. So if I leave uh, 75, it's uh, 35 more. So in a year, I may spend about, uh, yeah, uh, about 1 million. You'll term, uh, 
going to the office, uh, I mean, like going to the hospital, not, uh, not getting sick, not suffering. So calculate all this value, it's about 1 million per year. So 1 million into 35, it comes about, yeah, 500 something, yeah. So that's why I'm 500 US. All right. Uh, so okay, let, me, gonna... let me divide this one in the US dollar. So 500 million divided by 75. It's about, yeah, it, it comes about uh, $6,500 million. Okay. That's quite a lot. All right. Yeah, still a lot. All right. So now <laughs> let's get back to this. Now All I right. want to just say something here. Okay. So all of you agree that the value of the machine is a lot more than the price that you're paying for the machine. All right. It, look, let me ask all of you this question. Okay. I need your participation. Okay. Now everybody here, can you please respond to my next question? Who here has the right hand? Can you please put your hand high up to the sky? Who has the right hand? Okay, good, great. Okay. You, okay, most of you have a right hand, some don't, okay? Now, how many of you agree that for the, for the value that you are seeing, right? You would still buy the machine even if it's selling for, dub, for double the price, if you have the money, if money is not an issue, you will still be buying the machine even if the price goes up by five times you will still be buying the machine, even if you, yeah, I see a lot of hands coming up. Okay, so now, so why, I want to address this issue of the price of the machine. I'm gonna be calling up the, the, uh, the chart again. You see this machine, right? Whether it's selling for, whether it's selling for, I'm gonna be using the US dollars, US currency, whether it's selling for 4,000 US dollars, it will sell. Whether it's selling for two thousand US dollars, it will also sell. Whether it's selling for ten thousand US, it will also be selling. Right now, there's something that I want you to understand here. Okay. If the machine is selling for two thousand US dollars for half the price, all right. Do you think the company will be selling more machines or less machines? Can you y'all can type your answers in the in the chat? My question is this. Okay, I'm gonna write my question, okay? My question is this. This is my question. Would Enagic be selling more machines if the price is halved? I'd like to get some responses from you guys. Sorry, I, that was, a, that was a, a private message to only one person. One second, one second. Okay, Lena's saying more, John Cox is saying yes, Suzanne saying yes. Gosh. Wood. Christian saying yes, Christina saying yes, Donna saying yes. Energy. Be selling more machines. If the price is half, okay. A lot of yes, a lot. Of, who says no? A lot Paulina of yeses. Says no. Pa 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 Paulina says no. Okay, fine. Where's Paulina? Lian says no. Lina okay. uh, from London. All right. Okay. You want to know my answer? Would you like to know my answer? Yes. Yes. Put a thumbs up. You'll be getting less people selling the machines. You'll be getting less people selling the machines. Because people will not be... It is, you see, a machine like ours, right? Who is selling it? It is us, the distributors, who are being rewarded by the commissions to be pushing the product. There's something that you have to ask yourself, okay? Now this machine, right, this machine, this machine, how, how did you guys buy it? Okay, now I, I, I'd like to ask a question to all of you here. Who bought the machine because you saw a product demo, you saw the pH test, you saw the T test, you saw the negative ORP. You saw the, bought the machine because you, 
he saw the he saw the demo. Can you please participate, you guys? Put your hands high up so that you can see that. Yeah. So now I'll say the majority of you. The majority of you bought the machine because you saw the demo. Now, can you imagine if the price is selling for half the price, right? There'll be a lot, lot less people selling the machine. I know some of you will probably find that too hard to accept, but that is the truth. So anyway, we have to move on, right? Let's move on now, okay? So where were we? So the next thing I would like to share is this. Okay. Rejections. All right, rejections. Now, you have to inoculate yourself and your new members against this thing called rejections. All right? Who here do not like rejections? Put your hands up if you, you don't like your rejections. Now, I'm going to give you a secret to this business. I'm going to give you a secret to this business. Anyone interested for, 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 for a new secret to help you be successful? You have to... You have to embrace rejections. You have to love rejections. You have to love rejections. This is it. Rejection is part of the game, right? It is part of the game. You don't have to feel bad about people saying no to you. You just have to embrace it, right? Of course, no one like, you see, if you can, if you can have ex embrace the fact that, that you'll be getting a lot more no's than yes, then, then you don't, you won't be feeling so bad about this business. You just have to embrace it. How many, how many of you can embrace the fact that you'll be getting a lot of rejections in this business? The moment you come to embrace that, right? The moment you come to embrace that, your business will fly. Because. You have to you have to bulletproof yourself against rejections because that is that is the name of this game. You'll be getting a lot of rejections, right? But I have a solution to overcome that. How is that? Thumbs up if you like that. Okay, let's get on to the PowerPoint again. So rejections. So now the, the, the mistake that many of us do is this. We tend to overpromise. You know, we tend to overpromise our prospects, uh, especially those guys uh, whom you bring in to, to do the business, they're buying to do the business. You, because we, we, are, we, are so, we want them to, to be our customer, right? So we tend to, the common mistake is we tend to overpromise people that, oh, it is so easy to, this, to do this business, right? It, you'll be able to get a lot of sales. That is the totally opposite of what they should be doing. You should be under-promising them. All right? Now, let me ask you this. Now, some of you would know this. SW, SW, SW. This is the secret to this business. All right? What is this? Some will buy. Some will not buy. So what? Next. This is a numbers game. It's a purely a numbers game in this business of ours, okay? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share something next, which is very, <laughs> it's almost like magical, all right? So that's, that's, a, that's a formula for, for your success in, in this business. Who is interested for, for, for a secret formula? Put your hands up, okay? This is a success, or rather it is a man, success mantra. The success mantra is, SD501, all right? And what is SD501? It, it is an acronym. Of course, it is the, the, the model for our, for our best-selling machine, right? The SD501. But SD501, it stands for show demo to 501 people. Show demo to 501 people, all right? Now, can we get, can we hear, can we pick another five volunteers? Yeah? Anthony? Uh, okay, we have, like uh, have hands up. We have uh, Paulina and Tawa, Lyanne, uh, John Cox, Dovlet, and uh, Robert. Okay, pick the first volunteer. Okay, uh, now let, Paulina, let's, Paulina let, and Tawa. Okay, let's, let's, keep, let's, let's keep the responses from the, from the volunteer short, limited to maybe just 10 to 20 seconds. I just want to hear 
I mean, all of us want to hear, right? The, your response to my question, okay? So my question to each of you is, is, just take 20 seconds, no more than 20 seconds to give your response. How many demos have you, have you shown to people? How many demos have you done? Okay, go ahead, Paulina, Tower. No, no. What's that? <laughs> what, two, 200, 20, 2,000? Um, 20? 20 or two? Where? Sorry? 20. Oh, you've done 20. Uh, oh, yes. Sorry, I was looking at some, somebody else. Sorry, Hi, Paulina. No, no, no. 20, uh, over, how, she's over, she's how, over how many periods? Hi there. Over how long? Sorry? Over how, how many months? 18 months. 18 months. 20 18. demos in 18 months. So less, yeah. less, less than, uh, less about one demo per month, right? Yes. All right, they should be doing 500 demos in one year. Yeah. Or maybe stretch it out to two years. So you've done 20, you have to 25 times it. Yeah. It's time. Okay, the next volunteer. The next volunteer. All right, let's go to Lion. Oh, okay, I've done 10 in nine months. 10 in nine months, so you're averaging about one per month, right? Yeah. Okay, let's say, let's say if you're to be doing uh, 500 demos, let's say over two years, 500 demos over two years. So two years is 24 months, so you, be, you should be doing about 20 demos a month. 20 demos a month, it's all, it's all a numbers game. But you're doing about one a month, so you have to increase it by 20 times. It's all a numbers game. You'll be getting rejections. Okay. Say, I love rejection, Lion. I love rejection. That? Yes. <laughs> right, okay, ah. the next one. The next volunteer. Okay, let's go Thanks, to John. Uh, Thanks, John Lion. Cox. Thank you. Yeah, I probably in the last 19 months, I'd say probably between maybe over 150, and that's including people, you know, to big groups and one-to-one -one as well. Okay. So, so how many demos is that on average? Well, it says 10 but it doesn't uh -huh. feel like 10. <laughs> so, okay. if I, it, it, cause I don't do them that often, but when I do them, you know, sometimes we do the online ones as well, but sure. say, say 150 divided by 19 months, it's about 10, seven per month. All right, seven per month. So you got three times, you got to three times it, John. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we work it out, it's about, about 20 per month that you got to do, all right? Okay, thanks John. The next volunteer. Uh, let's go to Robert O'Reilly from Ireland, please. Yeah, Hi, Robert, how are you doing? All right, Sam. Hi, Caitlin. Good to see you. Yeah, I would have averaged when I was really out of there five per week. I was doing a, an in-house demo here, uh, perhaps maybe seven, eight, nine, ten people there too. So it was roughly five per week. This past few weeks, now, a few months, I haven't really been able to get many demos in. But you know, at the peak there, I was doing five demos. I was getting results to that there too, you know what I mean? But oh, yeah. uh, the, 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 the question you asked about the number of, or the price of the machine, you know, that was the one thing that a lot of people would have said to me was the price of the machine. But... Put the demos in and doing the work guess the results, that's for sure, you know. All right. So how many demos have you done in total? I would have done a lot. I would have for two years I would have done averaging I'd have averaged five per week, that's for sure, yeah. Five per week. So five per week, that's pretty good, right? I mean yeah. that's, I think if you go if you're doing a five per week, five times fifty two weeks is two hundred five times fifty two is what? Two sixty. It's, it's two sixty. So it's about over two years, yeah, you then you are then how do you how do you uh, how do you resonate with that mantra, uh, Robert? Mm -hmm. How do you resonate with the, the success mantra, uh, SD five hundred one? How do you like? Well, you've got to show the demos is the most important thing. I would have traveled a lot right. of people. Any any place that I traveled to a home demo, I, I I got fairly good result. Perhaps two in every one, one in every yeah. two. That would have would have turned into a sale. Really, that was the position there for that. You know, so that was the big right. thing doing the home home demo. You know. Yeah. So, so would you um, would you tell your guys, the people in the team, your prospects, that the success mantra is SD five hundred one? Yeah, show the demo, show the demo. All the yeah, time. All the time. exactly. All right, thank you, thank you, Robert. The next one, right. the next uh, volunteer. Okay, last participant, uh, hands up, please. Uh, the last, who is the uh, next? Is it doublet. Doublet. Hi there, how are you doing? Oh, go ahead, Doublet. Okay. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hi there. So, how 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 many demos have you done? In the last uh, three for the last six months, I would say three, three for the last six yeah. months. That's uh, averaging about uh, what uh, half a demo per month. Uh, I don't think yeah per month. I I, I make one. Or rather one. 
one, one every two months. Okay, so yeah. you have it, it's all it is I do all mainly numbers videos. Yeah, I'm sending videos mainly. I don't do demos. Right, but the thing is, is when you send out video, right? Do the people watch it? All right. So yeah. so sending out demo doesn't mean that doesn't mean that people are, people are watching it. All yeah. right. So who here, who here, you believe you want to you 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 believe with, with this success mantra SD five hundred one from a show of hands, yeah, and who's committed to do that? All right. Now let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Right. The next thing that I want to talk about is distinction number. Hang on. Distinction number three is okay. Distinction number four, the ten x rule. This is so important. This really is a secret, right? The secret. Now, who? I, I know some of you have heard about the uh, the ten x rule, right? Who has read this book? Who here has read this book? Not not, not that many hands. Not that many hands. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Anthony, can you put it up uh, to, to show again? Anthony, your, yeah, the 10x rule. Now, this book, you, everybody here, if you want to be, if you want to be successful in the Kangen business, right, please get hold of this book, all right? This really holds a key to your success. Let me illustrate, let me illustrate to you in under five minutes what the 10x rule is, uh, the, the gist of what the 10x rule is. Anyone interested? Anybody interested? Yep, okay. There we go. Now, it is a very simple, and I'm, I'm gonna say, now you guys will love, you guys will love this. Now, so now, let's say, right? Let's say you have a goal. Let's say you set a goal that you wanna sell four machines per month. Four direct sales per month, that's your goal. So now, what is the effort that you got to do? Well, how much effort do you have to put in? You have to put in at, at least the effort of selling four machines per month, right? You cannot be putting the effort of sell, putting in the effort of selling one machine a month and expecting to sell four machines a month. Am I right? All right? You can't. But that's not good enough. For you to get four direct sales, right? You can't just put in the effort to sell four direct sales. You have to put in the effort to sell 40 machines. I'm going to say that one more time. If you have this goal of wanting to sell four machines per month, you can't just put in the effort to sell only four machines a month. You have to put in the effort of selling 10 times that, which is, you got to put in the effort of equivalent of selling 10 times, which is, you got to sell, you, you want to put in the effort of selling 40 machines in order to achieve a minimum sales of four machines. Now, why do I say that? It's because we underestimate, we underestimate the effort that is required to get the sales. Because there'll be a lot of there'll be a lot of objections. Like I said, you'll be getting rejections from people, right? So you you just have to you just have to work a lot harder. It is that's that's how it works, by the way, right? It works in all all businesses. You have to put in a lot of effort. And the thing is this, when you put in the effort of 10x effort to get what you want, if you want to sell four direct sales, but you put in the effort to sell 40 direct sales, you will be able to get sales between four to 40. You won't be able to get 40 machine sales, but you will be able to get somewhere in the range. All right? And not only that. So maybe another way of looking at it is this. Instead of, in, so, so, so instead of putting, instead of putting a goal to sell, instead of putting a goal to, to sell four machines, right? You put in a goal to sell 40 machines. Put in, so you got to put in 10, 10. So another way of looking at it is, you put in, you must have, you must increase your goal by 10 times. So in, increase your goal by 10 times of, instead of going gunning for four machines, gun for 40 machines. Gun for 40 machines. That is a goal, right? And you probably won't be able to achieve it. You may be achieving somewhere in that range. All right? So it's either 10 times your goal or 10 times the effort. Either way. Either way. All right? So I want to just stop here now. 
So who here, who here you're getting some idea, some new ideas here on, on about on, on about going 10x? Get hold of the book, all right? And that that book here is gonna give you a lot of it's gonna give you a, a lot of awakening. It's gonna give you more clarity to what I've just shared with you. Okay, yeah, Liam has got a 10x rule. Yep, Liam, 10x. So who here would like to 10x your life? Would, how, how does it sound? If, you know, how would life be if you were to 10x it? You know, it's gonna be magical, you know, right? And, and that's what we all want. We want magic in our lives, isn't it? Right? Let's move on to the next bit. Okay, what's next? The next one is on the distinction number five. Ah, this one, I think many of you will love this. Now, I've been in this business, not, not six years, uh, Anthony, you, I think you, I heard you mentioning that I've only been in this business for six years. No, I think, but I've been in this business as of uh, three weeks ago. Yeah, I joined this business on 2nd of March, 2011. And two is 2010 now. So I've been in this business for the last nine years. All right. And this is my conclusion. There are three types of customers for Kangen. All right. And all of you fall into one of these three types. Okay. Now, what are the three types? I call it type one, type two, and type three. Now, who, what is type one? Type one are the customers who are just buying it to use the, the machine with no intention of doing the business. All right. Some of you are some some of you are type one. Now there's a type two customer. Now type two customer are are the people, right? They they saw them they, they saw the demo. They 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 love the machine, but in their head, right? They say, "Oh, it's so expensive." It just they can't bear them. They can't bear to bring themselves to buy the machine because to them it's it's very pricey, and it is pricey. All right, but because we show them that there is a way of rec recouping because of the machine that they buy, all right? So, because through our referral system, with our eight point system, right? If they were to refer between 10 to 12 other buyers to, to get a machine, depending on which country you are from, they'll be able to recover the cost of the machine. And because of that, because of that, they bought the machine, all right? And there is a, the, the, the final type, type three, right? Type three are the people, they are buying primarily to do the business. Of course, they, they, they saw the value in the machine, but the main reason for buying it is they are buying it to do the business. Now you may have some of you guys who's like, who's got a kid who's, who's about to go to college, uh, or perhaps you, you want to uh, supplement your income, or you're just sick and tired of whatever you're doing and you want to start, start a, a new business, all right? Uh, and you're looking for a new revenue source. And here comes Kangen, and you, you look at Kangen and say, gosh, this is what I want to get my hands into, right? So now, again, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to just stop sharing here. I need, to, I need to get a participation from everybody here, right? And can I ask all the people here, I want you to pick one, whether it's one, whether you're type one, two, or three. Let me just be very clear about this. I'm talking about at the point of purchase. At the point of purchase. Now, can we, can we uh, do a do a uh, do a tally of from the people? How, how many have, how many people are here today? There's thirty five, right? Anthony? Yeah, yeah thirty five. Okay, now you can only put your hand up once only, right? Okay, just one once, and you need to just pick pick choose. You cannot be put, putting your hands two times or three times. Just one time. I'm gonna ask all of you, and I need you to participate. Who here has the right hand to begin with? Who here has the right hand? Okay, good. All right. Now, who among you are the type one? You, you're, you're buying it because you just bought it for the for to use machine at the time of buying. Anyone? Can you, guys Can you see hands anyone? Uh, any hands up? No, oh, the cameras, on. the cameras that's on. We only, from the cameras that's on, I don't see any hands up at the moment. Now, can we get the can we get the cooperation of everybody here? Who is whoever is on the on the call now? Can you come on the, on turn on your video? This is for this is for everybody to get value. Uh, Rebecca, 
Rebecca said she's type one, so there's one there. Rebecca, one there. Okay. Anyway, so anyway, so this is this 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 uh, exercise will not be a full representation. Now, anyone here who is a type two? Uh, Lena, anyone? Type two. If you wanted to type in the message box, also, you're a one, okay. two, or three. All right. Okay, a few of you are type two. And who here are the type threes? Type threes. Type three, Dovlet, May, Paul, Chris, oh, Peter, Markov. Right. Okay. You know what? I'm going to play a video here. I, I, gotta, I, I need to show you guys a video. How's that? I don't know whether the video will be able to be seen. Let me just look for it. Just bear with me for a while. Okay. Okay. Just let me just bear with me for a while. So Susanna, Susanna Toff, type one. Donna Bailey says two. Or leader and Tao says one. No, I don't have it here, unfortunately. So I can't show you a video. Can you share the, can you share the video with us after the call and we can send it out to everybody? I can. What I'll do is I'll put it on YouTube and I'll yes. send you guys a link. How's yep, that? Perfect. All yep. right. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. So, so now let me get on back. So, so there are a lot of type threes here, right? Just now? Yeah, it's about six or seven type three. Fine, fine. Okay. Now, who is the easiest person to sell to? What do you think? Who of all the type one, type two, type three, who is the easiest to sell to? Okay, don't answer the question first. Let's get on to the next, get on to the, to the next distinction. But anyway, anyway, the easiest person to sell to are the type three. Look, you got you got to look for sellers. Let, let me just let me just tell you a, let me just tell you a little story, okay? Who here likes to listen to stories? Who likes to listen to stories? Okay, now, now this is uh, one of my one of my fellow distributors, uh, Gary Gunn. Some of you may have heard of, heard heard of him. Now Gary Gan, Gary Gan, right? Did a uh, did a demo in uh, Cambodia. Cambodia is a country which is uh, next to Thailand, um, not too far away from Malaysia. Okay, it's, it's like sandwiched between Thailand and Vietnam, Cambodia, uh, where the average uh, income, monthly income, is about what two hundred to three hundred US dollars a month. So he did a presentation to a, to a bunch of uh, about twenty five of them in a room. Did a the demo, product demo and all that. People love it, they all love it, you know? And at the end of it, right, he asked, who is interested in, in buying? No one put up their hand. Okay, no one put up their hand. Later on, later on, right, what he did was, he asked, uh, he asked, he asked uh, people the question of, uh, how many of you will, will be interested to own a franchise? Right, if you have the money to buy, if you have the money to buy a KFC franchise. Okay, let me ask all of you here. Let me ask all of you here. If you have the, the money to buy a franchise, how much does it cost to buy a McDonald's franchise in the UK? Anthony? Uh, around two million at least. Two million pounds, right? If you if all of you guys, right, you have money in your bank account, you got a few million, you have some spare cash, spare cash, you got and you got two million quid to buy a McDonald's franchise or a KFC franchise, who would be interested? Anyone interested to buy a franchise? Some, not all, okay. So Gary, Gary said, Gary asked him, right? I have a franchise here. I would like to introduce you a franchise. It's called a people franchise, okay? Now, how this people franchise work is this. You see with the traditional franchises, right? You are limited to opening a store on the particular area. Let's say in London, right? you can open a, they can give you a franchise to open in what, in Marble Arch. And you're combined to, because you're combined by your physical location, you can only sell to people there, right? And now, so Gary, Gary went on to say, I'm gonna introduce you to this thing called the people franchise, where you have a franchise and you're, you have a right to sell your product anywhere in the world, okay? And it doesn't need, you don't need to come up with 2 million pounds. What is the cost of the franchise? It's 3,000 pounds. Does it sound familiar? 
Does it sound familiar? We are talking about the Kangen franchise, the Energy franchise. Well, we, the company, by the way, the company, the company bars us from calling it a franchise, okay? Because there's a, there's a franchise act in many countries. So we, it, we are prohibited from calling it a franchise. But essentially, it is, it is the same. To me, it is franchise inverted commerce. So anyway, Gary, right? Ask the same bunch of Cambodians who came for the talk. How many of you would love to buy a franchise where you can sell to anyone in the world and you've got a product which can give tremendous value to the customers and the franchise is selling for 3,000 pounds. Anyone interested? The 25 people who never put up their hands. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. okay, let, let, let me put this question to, to you guys here on this conference call. Who here will be interested to buy a franchise for 3,000 pounds where you can sell it to anyone in the world? Right. Now, this same question was posed to the, to the bunch of people in, in Cambodia and the 25 people who never put up their hand to indicate they were interested in buying the machine. All, of, all their hands was up to say that they're interested in buying the franchise. Are you getting, my, are you getting the, the gist of, of my, main, my message here? Right? You're selling, you're not selling just a machine, you're selling the, you're selling the business. You're selling the business. Okay? So, so the, the thing is, hang on, uh, what was I talking about? Okay, franchise. So now, why, why, that's why I said, that's why I said, selling the franchise, you gotta look for sellers. The sellers are the one, the sellers are the easiest person to sell to, all right? I, let me tell you another story. Let me tell you another story, all right? Can I, can I tell you another story? Who's interested to listen to one more, one more story? A very profound story, okay? Now this happened just in India in uh, a month ago. When was the, when was the Indian uh, anniversary, uh, Anthony? Uh, uh, Liam, February, was it? Right? Exactly, February, right? I was there. And uh, what the first speaker who came up to speak, right? His name is uh, Chandra, I think. And okay, you guys, you got to listen very carefully to, to this, right? He came up, he was introduced to the Kangen machine and he's, in his mind is like, Christ, how can you possibly be selling, be selling this machine? And in, in India, right, it's even more expensive, you know, from, from, their, from, from the perspective of their earning power. So anyway, the sponsor, right, told him to follow him. The sponsor asked this guy, Chandra, to follow the, his sponsor to see how he, how he does his Kangen business. And uh, after following for a while, for a few weeks, I think, Chandra decided to buy a machine and, and starts to start selling the machine. In his first month, he sold five machines. And he just couldn't believe, he just couldn't believe himself that he, he sold five machines. And in his mind, was, he was asking, right, I can't believe these guys bought the machines. Even with, the, with this high price of, uh, uh, it was like selling for, what, I think it's about uh, 3,000 quid. Right? He couldn't believe it, you know? And he decided, so he decided to ask his five buyers, why did you buy the machine? And what, did the, what was the response by, by the five buyers? The five buyers says, it's so cheap to do this business. Those five guys bought the machine to do the business. It's so cheap. Can you find a franchise opportunity for five for 3,000? a 3,000 uh, quid to do the business. So from then on, he got an idea, right? His idea is don't sell the machine, sell the business. So his mantra is, the mantra which was, the mantra that I, that I showed you there, right? Look for sellers, right? Actually, that is what I picked pick from him. So, so this is something that you want to take, take note of. Right, so with the energy business, right, you're, only, you're not only selling the, the product. Look, I, I, I understand that, I, I think some of you may have this idea that, let me ask all of you here, I need your participation, right? Now, do any of you here have this idea that it is wrong, it is wrong to sell the business? It is wrong, you, you, don't, feel, you don't feel it's right to sell the business. You feel that you should be only be selling the business. You don't feel right that to sell the business. 
Anyone, anyone here have this idea that you shouldn't be selling a business? Because I had, I had that, I had that reservation. I had this limiting idea in my head many years ago that I shouldn't be selling a business. I should be selling the product. All right. Because if I were to sell the business, it's like selling another multi-level marketing, which, which don't gel with me. But I'm going to get on to the next distinction, right? It's going to give you more clarity on, on why you should not only be selling the, the machine, you should also be selling the business. All right, now let me get, get to the next one. So how much time do I got left, uh, uh, Anthony? Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Go on, carry okay. on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the you next distinction, I want, uh, it's time to carry all on. Right. The next distinction is this. Uh, don't worry about all this. I'll be doing a recap, right? Later on. Distinction number six. Now, everybody, I need everybody to get a pen and paper. All right. All right. I want you to, I want to answer you. I want you to answer this question. What are your three most important things in your life today and for the rest of your life? Now, what I want you to do is this. I want you to give a one word answer. So what you need to do is you need to come up with three one word answers. Now, this is a very important exercise, right? I urge all of you to actually get, take a pen and participate, write your answers to this question. What are your three most important things in your life today and for the rest of your life? Three answers, you only want three answers. One, one, one. One word answer, okay? What are your three most important things in your life? Okay. One second. Now, has everybody got the answers written down? Who has got the answers written down? From a show of hands. Uh, some of you are not doing it. Sanja? Okay. Lina? Have you done yours? Okay. Now, who here, who here, has, has one of the three answers. Who here has either the word money, wealth, time freedom, financial freedom, flexibility, peace of mind as one of the three answers? Come on, participate. Let me tell you this, okay? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I've done this I've asked thousands of people this question. And, and this is a question that they may want to take a snapshot of. I've asked more than a few thousand people out with this question, right? Okay, take a snapshot of this. This is, it is actually a tool that, that you can actually use, right? 90, more than 90%, more than, I would say more than 95% of the responses back has money, wealth, financial freedom, or peace of mind, or uh, travel, lifestyle, as one of the three most important things in their life. So why am I sharing this? Of course, uh, health will also come up as well. Health and uh, some people will come up with the word God, uh, family, relationships, growth. But money it is so important for everybody, right? And I just want to tie up this distinction here, I want, you, I want you to understand that this distinction of money, this distinction that money is so important to people, is tied up with, with the earlier distinction of that, you know, you want to look for sellers. Don't be shy to talk to people about them, about selling a, a business opportunity to them. Do not be shy on, on that because I used to be, I used to be, I used to have an idea in my head that it's not right to talk to them. People will sort of uh, uh, will look down on me even, right? But the fact is, the fact is, people want more money. Let me ask all of you here, okay? Let me ask all of you here. Who here wants more money? From show of hands, who here wants more money? If your hands is not up, you're not, you're not speaking the truth. So it's nothing wrong with asking them. I could see on my, I could see on my, uh, what do you call, on my screen, right? It says two participants raised their hand and actually after that, their, their hands, uh, was that magical or what? Anthony? 
No, they just clicked on the button to raise their hand. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> I was tricked. Right. So, so the, that's the thing here. So the 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 idea is that the. Uh, all right. I want you to understand that you know the psychology of people is that it's nothing wrong. Maybe you can even open up the question. You can start a conversation. Use this as your starting point to ask people what are your three most important things in your life, and if money were to come up, right. Or freedom, right? They will come up to say that oh, they're not happy with the job. Uh, oh, they are, they are, the children is going to college. They need more money, or they just recently retired. They they need to have more income to sustain their lifestyle. Then then if, then you can ask them, would you be open to take a look at something which which will probably blow their mind, right? So take take note of this. Take a screenshot of this uh, this question that you can use as part of a tool. All right. The next distinction I will talk about is this. Marketing and selling versus selling. Okay. Can we get some volunteers here? Uh, we need Doblet. how many do you need? Five okay. Okay, so Doblet will go Manal. Doblet Manal. Anybody else? Raise your hand, nice. Yeah, hang on, wait. Can we give can we give some opportunity to some new people? Yeah, Manal. I think we only need three. Okay, Manal. 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 Manal, we haven't had Manal. Manal, I'm gonna mute you now. Do you want me to mute already? Yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah. Okay, we're unmuted. Yes. So Manal, what is what, what is uh, the, tell tell us uh, in in less than twenty seconds? No, in less than ten seconds. Okay, less than ten seconds. What's the difference between marketing and what, what is selling? Um, marketing, I feel a bit more shy. Sorry, marketing easier than sell. Marketing is the words and presentation. Right. Sell physically make the sale. All right. Okay. Let's hear the next one. Who's the next volunteer? Uh, somebody else raise your hand. Somebody we haven't got had before. Anybody? Oh, Terry. I think, uh, yeah, go ahead, Terry. Okay, Terry. Terry. Yes, Terry. Mute. There you go. No, Terry is still uh, muted. Okay, speak now. Can you hear Terry. me? Yeah. Can yes, we can. Yeah, How are you, Terry? Is promoting the product, but selling is closing the deal. Say again, what is marketing? Marketing is promoting the product and advertising the product. Selling is closing the deal. All right. Okay. Let's hear for the next one. Let's hear from the next one. Okay. One more volunteer. Okay. Lyanne. Uh, Lyanne, on mute. There you go. Okay. What okay. is the difference? Marketing is burning money. Uh, sales is earning money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you for that. All right. Now, I want to show you something. Okay. Let's look at the PowerPoint again. All right now, this one when I first saw it, right, it get it brought so much clarity to 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 my business. Marketing, listen to this. Marketing, like in any other business other than Kangen, this applies to all businesses, Kangen included. Marketing is generating new leads. Selling is conversion of your lead into a customer. Right? It's as simple as that. So now. So, which is more important, marketing or selling? I would say you need both. You need both marketing and selling. Now, I want you to picture this, a funnel. A funnel where you put in your leads, all right? That's called marketing. Putting people in front of a demo. Putting people in front of a demo is, is called selling. But you have to bring in the people. You gotta put you gotta put your bump, your bump on the seats in front of a demo. All right. How do how do you bring in bumps to put on the seat? If you have you have to generate new leads, you have to do marketing. All right. Because if you don't do any marketing, right, no one is gonna come and see your demo. Are you with me? Yeah? Okay, so, so my question to you guys is this. My question to you is this. I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint again. But before that, right, before that, hang on, that's just more, okay. So what is the current mode of marketing? How do you do your marketing now? Okay, how do you do your marketing now? Are you doing enough marketing? The question is, are you doing enough marketing? 
Can we take can we take three uh, three volunteers here? How about Susanna? Yeah? Susanna, unmute. I just unmuted you. Oh, we can't hear you. Say something, Susanna. No, it's it's unmuted, but is your microphone working? No? I think it's in your setting. Mm. No sound. Okay, sorry, Susanna. We have to go on to the next one. All right. We have to find another volunteer. Sorry. Okay, Sam, who else do you want? Okay, Pam. Pamela. Pam. We're American. Pam. Let's hear from you, Pam. How are you? Pam, give us a wave. Oh, I'll call it. Ah. Hi, Sam. Hi there, Pam. So, what is the current mode of marketing? How do you do your marketing? How do you bring in leads? Well, at the moment, it's just word of mouth, just talking to people. Okay, talking to people, right. And how many new people do you talk to a day? Uh, not enough. Not enough. How, okay, how many, how many people do you talk to in a week? How many new people do you talk to in a week? Um, again, probably just one or two. All right, that's not enough. All right. Okay, so you're not doing enough marketing. Uh -huh. And you know what, guys? Okay, that, okay. Thank, thank you, Pam. Thank you for your response there. Can we take the next volunteer here, Lion? Um, okay, Sanya. Sanya, put up your hand. Yeah, Sanya had a hand up. Hi. San, hi, Sanya. Hi, hi, Sanya. Hi. hi. So, how? What is your current mode of marketing? How do you do your marketing currently? Uh, talking to new people and right. introducing myself and introducing about how I'm doing with the uh, water and everything. So sure. they will be asking. How so how many new people do you talk to uh, in, a, in a day to, or in a week? Five to Sorry? ten. Five, five to in a, ten in, in a week. In a week, that's not too bad, okay. Uh, but the, the, the thing is this, you see when you talk to people, right? When you talk to people, uh, see, generally people are very reserved. You know, people are very reserved. Uh, I think that the, the, thing, the key to talking to strangers is this, you have, you have to build some trust with them, right? Because there's a thing about, uh, there's a distinction here. You, you want to go out to fish. You don't want to go out to hunt. When you, when you go out hunting, right, people can sense that you're hunting them. They run away. You scare them away. But if you can sort of build the trust, build up a relation, I mean, even with strangers, you know. What's, what's, the, best way, what's the best way of, uh, of, of uh, striking a friendship with a stranger? Like talking, how are you doing? You are, uh, yes, all right. Well, and yeah. What you make trust some rapport. Yeah, so yep. how we are doing this. So then they started talking to us, trusting us, building a bit of relationship. Then I will try to explain how I'm doing here, what uh, what source they are having, like if they are having any health issues, they will come up talking about their uh, right. suffering this. Then I try to introduce this one. You know, Sanya, if, if I may say something to you, right? Mm hmm I never bring up, I never bring up, I, I never try to, I never try to uh, prospect somebody on my first meeting. All right. I try to establish, I try to build up a relationship first. So I would probably bring up, or only pro probably try to bring up the selling the machine to them. Not in my first meeting, probably in my second meeting or third meeting. So the key to, to the key to, to this is that you have to, you, you want to get the contact. You want to, you know, get in contact and, and speak to them again. Build a friendship. So what is the key to building? How, so how, how are you going to get there? How, how are you going to get a number? Would you like to know a secret to getting people's contact? Anyone interested? Right? Be, be, be friendly with them. Just strike up a friendship. You got to put a lot of smile on your face, right? All right? And say, hey, how about we take a selfie, right? And I'll send it to you. Yeah. And then they, 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 they have to give their numbers to you. I've done this. It's... Of course, but before I take the photo, right, I ask for the permission whether it's okay for us to take a selfie, right? Out of 10, maybe I will, I'll get one rejection. Out of 10, one rejection. 90% of it works, right? And then I'll get, I'll ask for the phone numbers just to contact them without mentioning that of what I'm doing, you know? Okay? okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. One more, one more, one more volunteer here. Who else? 
Lion. Lion. Is, no, hang on. Lion. Is. Lion. There you yeah. go. Unmuted. Okay. So, yeah. Lion, what is your what is your current mode of marketing? Um, I do, do Facebook, Facebook posting and uh, Instagram stories. I see. Okay. Let me ask you this. So, who's your target audience? Just your just your your the people in your contact list. Uh yeah, in my like following my following my profile. I see. How many are there? My... Sorry. How many are there? Um, how many out there? Facebook about thousands, about few thousands okay. friends. But yeah, that's what I. Okay, that's not good enough. Not enough. Okay. You no, know, there we'll are so get many more. people. Out yeah, no, it's not that. It's not about increasing your number of friends. There are more people out there than your than the number of friends that you have. True. You're not re you're only reaching out to ten one thousand people. It's not enough. You gotta reach you gotta reach out there. So how, how many more times more people are there out there? Billions. <laughs> Yeah, people out there. Yes, all right. So you have to, you know, social media is a very important component of our marketing these days, but you have to do more than that. All right. He, he, okay. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, uh, do you have any uh, sort of uh, marketing courses that, that you do for, for, your, for the people here? Yeah, I run um, digital marketing uh, training every month or so, yeah, both online and offline, where we go into some key strategies of a few key platforms that I use, things like Google, YouTube, Facebook. So, uh, I mean, after this call, maybe um, I'll, I'll send you guys the link. I think there is one. When's the next yeah, we, we, we've booked one in. So we have, we've got one scheduled for, I believe, Tuesday, the 31st Tuesday. of March. Tuesday, 31st of March. So it's available for everybody and we'll send the link out to everyone. Right. So guys, if you're not doing enough marketing, right, you have to go for this course. You got to go for this thing that, uh, that, you, that Anthony and them is, uh, is, is, is going to be running. All right. So marketing, right? By the way, by the way, the key to any business success, right? The key, the number one key is marketing. The number one key is marketing in this business. You may have the best product in the whole world, but if you're not doing any marketing, right? You're not going to be getting enough people to see what you have. It is key. Marketing is key to your business. Right now, I need to move on. So the next one, the next key is this. Share the next distinction. Aha, uh -huh. four categories protocol. Now this this will take a long time for me to do, so I would be skipping that. But uh, let's talk about this for a quick while. All right. Uh, who here you are familiar with the four categories protocol? Maybe uh, Anthony, uh, you can you can. Uh, Elaborate a bit on this. Yeah, for those of you who's been to the Kanga workshop, um, just see by show of hands who's been to Sam Sears Kanga workshops. Well, I think the Essential Kanga workshop, the yeah, EKW. Yeah, Kanga yeah. workshops, about either in Malaysia or in, in London. Uh, uh, about actually, just after lunch, this is where Sam picks you know a few volunteers to go through the the end user, uh, the some timer, part timer, and full timer. So then we give a. This is after the uh, the eight point system where we show you know the one a two a etc. And then you remember we see the names at the top, you know, Amy, John, et cetera. And then this is then we, we you know, where, where Ming Wei and Sam said, you know, we, we, we're going to give you guys a little bit more clarity about uh, uh, how the, how, how, you know, how people generate income. So if, uh, when people see the 182A for me, um, I think when I first saw it first, it, it, it took me, it took me a few months to understand it. But when they went through the, um, the sometime part timer, the four categories, um, you know, my, my, my clarity went up, my, my, my understanding went, 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 went up. And, um, and this is something I make a point to do every time. I never fail to, to show the, the four categories. It might take some time. It takes an extra 20 odd minutes to go through this. But, um, and I have people, you know, who are, you know, people who run franchises, people who run businesses. They were a little bit reluctant at first to show the four categories. But after, but after they keep seeing it over and over again, um, they, should say, they, they make a point and say, like, Anthony, can you please show the four categories uh, to the prospects, to the clients? So if you've not seen it, uh, you know, speak to your leader, speak to your sponsor, or just message us. Uh, I, you know, we, we're happy to, to show you guys uh, the four categories next week. Yeah, I think uh, John Cox is just holding John, a, the yeah. flip chart there now. Brilliant. Yeah. And this is something that John does very well now with all the four different colors. 
Uh, and uh, <laughs> this is something that he shows when he was in Ghana last month. So, so yeah, definitely to, to speak to your sponsor about it. Can we hear from John to, to, to speak a bit about uh, your experiences with uh, how, how doing the, how showing the four categories uh, protocol has, uh, how it has impacted your protocol? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, again, I never used to do this, but obviously coming to the EKWs and hearing over and over about how powerful this is, you know, I, I just made a point of learning it and practicing it at home. But like when you see, when you see people sitting and you're going through the, the business plan, it's a lot of numbers for some people and they can't really, you know, they don't really get it because it's just a lot of numbers. But when you actually do the four categories afterwards, you actually see, you know, the people that are actually jumping to the edge of their seats because, because now it's real. They're putting timeline on figures and it becomes real for people because they can see what is possible, you know, with the very, with the very minimum numbers of what their earning potential could be. So, you know, since I've been doing it, you know, I've, again, you know, you have these blank faces when you sometimes finishing off the, you know, the, the commissions and all that. But after you've done the four categories and ask the people, you know, like Sam says as well, how much, how many more times clarity has this given you, you know, then people, people always just say that it's given them so much more clarity. So it's, you know, I can't, you know, I can't say, you know, that you guys, how important it is, but definitely learn this. Practice this at home and include it into your your demos after your your business plan. Definitely. For me, for me, right, showing the four categories protocol, it is mandatory. All right. Now, if you are looking for, if you are looking to really have a huge breakthrough in this business, right, guys. You can't just be doing this business selling machines. You have to sell the business because it is your, it is, you, you do not want to, you, you see, the thing is this, if you're selling only to end users, you're making a huge mistake. You want to bring in distributors. The moment you bring in Disputers, not all the people that you bring in, bring in as disputers is going to take off. But the more disputers that you bring into the business, the more chances that you have of a few active and successful disputers taking shape. And that's where that's that's where the money is. You have to bring in distributors. All right, so. I, I know for many of you, right, you probably find doing the four categories protocol uh, daunting. But you know what? <laughs> you just have to make a go at it. Oh, by the way, can I suggest a book? Can I, can I recommend a book which I've just read uh, in the last few days, which to me is mind-blowing and it's going to have a huge effect on your business. Can I just share that? Anyone interested? Yes. You have, to, you have to listen to this book. You can get it on Audible or you can actually read the book. It's like I, I either buy the book or you can listen to it on audible.com. It's called The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. The Five Seconds, sorry, Five Seconds without the S, Five Second Rule, right? I think Liam has read it, right? Yes, really good book. Good, really good book and really, you know, I love it. It just book. puts all and procrastination and excuses to one side. You know the way we exactly. have that little voice in the you know the way we have that little voice in the mind, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, or maybe I'll do it next week. If you listen to this book and you allow it to reprogram yourself, you'll find yourself doing five, four, three, two, one. Let's smash it, let's get right. it done. Let's crack on. Yeah, that's right. And you know, all of us don't feel like doing a lot of things. All of us don't feel it is built into us, but even if you don't feel like doing it, when you five, four, three, two, one, you get it done. But you really have to just check out the book. All right. Now let's move on. Now let's move on. Uh, okay. I see Peter Markov has uh, raised up your hand. If Peter, you have uh, read the book too, right? Okay. Now let's move on. So four categories. It is mandatory. Oh, by the way, let me just touch on this a uh, bit. So I always make it a point, right? And I've told you guys, John, Anthony, and Liam, right? At the end of doing the four categories protocol, make it a point. Ask them. Ask the people whom we have shown the four categories to. Ask them, have you gotten more clarity out of seeing this? Ask them. If they say yes, right? 
Then he asked them this question, the next question. How many times more clarity have you gotten out of seeing the, this four categories protocol? Is it double? Is it five times? Is it 10 times? Is it 50 times? Is it 100 times? Hear from them. Now, let me just share with you, right? I've got people who say they've, I've got many people who say they've, they've gotten double the clarity. I've got many people who say they've gotten 10 times more clarity. And some even say 50 times more clarity. Some say 100 times more clarity. Some say now they understand it. Now they understand how, how the business works. So if you don't do, if you don't show the four catalyst protocol, right, you're missing out big, big time. You may be missing out on the Sam Sia. You may be missing out on the Anthony Tan or Liam or John Cox. So make sure that you do the four categories protocol, even though it's you may find you may find, find it daunting to do. So you just have to get get cracking on that. So so who here? Who here from a show of hands, you would want to start doing the four categories from now on? Yeah, great, awesome, awesome. Right, so now the next one I wanna share with you is this. Okay, the next one is, your perspective determines your commission. Now with this, right, I can't show it to you here, it's impossible. This, will, this process will take about an hour long and and what, you have, what I would suggest to you guys is you need to come for the Essential Canyon Workshop. Now, we were supposed to be having it in April, but unfortunately, we had to call it off because of the COVID-19. Unless, uh, well, we have, to, we have to reschedule it then. You know, when, when things come back to normalcy, we'll have to get, we will, I would love to fly out to London to, to do the Essential Canyon Workshop. And uh, who here has not, who here has been to the Essential Canyon Workshop? Most of you, right? And for those people who has never been to the Essential Canyon Workshop, you must get your butt in there. Okay, you just must get your butt in there. And, 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 and you don't just come alone. Don't come alone because at the end of the workshop, I'll be asking you a question. Who here in the room you wish had brought in more people with you? And all, most of your hands, all your hands will be up, right? Because the workshop itself is actually a very powerful tool to convert your, your, your skeptics, even your, your end users to, become, to becoming a distributor. So, so Anthony and Liam and John, we will work something out when things come back to normal, all right? So the last bit I want to share with you is this. Uh, let me just call it up once again. One second, where is it now? Ah, I'm coming to the, my last distinction. And after this, this distinction is done, uh, we'll be uh, sharing, we'll be getting into some Q&A session. Let me just call this the last if anybody, distinction. If the... anybody has got any questions right now while Sam's getting the last one, if you can just pop them in the chat group so then John can have them there nice and quick if anybody's got any questions for Sam. Okay. All right. So, okay, this, this distinction that I'm sharing with you guys. Now, you know, you guys, you all know that there's three, three types of commission, right? Okay. There's the eight points commission. And then there's also the 6A education allowance. When you, you get this only when you become a 6A. And the third one is the 6A2 commissions. Now, so there's three types of commission. Now, I'd like to ask, take a guess where my commissions, me, me. Okay. Uh, let me just. Where my commissions are coming from? Okay, I, I, we need three volunteers here. I want you to take a guess, percentage-wise, how many percent of my commissions are coming from my eight points commission? How many percent is coming from my education allowance? And how many percent of my commissions are coming from my six A two commissions? We need to have three, three, uh, three volunteers here. Okay, so Paul's got his hand raised. Paul, preferably somebody who has not attended the EKW. Okay, Paul, have you attended EKW before? Okay, so Paul, I'm gonna unmute Paul now. Okay, so Paul, 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 where's Paul? Can you put your hand up? Oh, hi, Paul. Hi, Sam. Hi. Okay. And wait, before that, let let let's speak the uh, volunteers first. Who else has not been to e, to the Essential Kanga Workshop? Dominic, have you been to the Essential Kanga Workshop? I need somebody who hasn't been. Uh, Manal, Manal has raised her hand. Yeah, Manal. And, 
Yeah. And Lena hasn't either. Lena hasn't been to EKW. Yeah. Where's Lena? Lena from Malaysia, yeah. Where? I can't see her. Oh, yeah, Lena. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so, let's, let's, okay, Paul, yes, Paul. Al and Lena, Paul. right? Paul, I want you to take a guess, right? Tell me what was my waiting. Uh, how many persons? How many coming? How many coming? Paul? No, I lost you there, Sam. So, okay, my question is, okay. my, question, my question is, my question is, how many percent of my commissions are coming from my from the first type of first type of commission called the six A? Oh, sorry, the uh, sorry, the eight points commission. How many percent is coming from the education allowance, and how many percent is coming from the six A two six A two commissions? This one from the six A two. Yeah. So, all, 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 give me the percentages which which percentages which would which which would we should pick up probably, 100%. Say, say 70% from 60 to 20%, 60, 10%, 8 point commission. Okay, so, so it's like 10, 10 from first, 20 yeah. from second, and 70 yeah. from the third one. Okay, yeah. let's get back to the, to, the, to the second volunteer, Manal, right? Manal? How many percent? Manal, you're you're unmuted, so it's, you can speak. I don't know what how many percent, and I'm not really thinking about the commission. The same, I'm thinking I want Kenyan to reach to as many as possible people, especially in my country. Okay, all right, fine. So okay, so you're not able to respond. So let's go get on to the next uh, volunteer. Who? Uh, Lena, uh, Lena, you're Lina. unmuted. Lena, I've unmuted you. You're good. Hi. Hi, Elena. Hi. Yeah, we can hear you. So how many percent do you think is coming from the, from the uh, eight points commission? Eight points? Hmm. From the eight points? From the eight points commission. Yes, how much so percentage how of percent? Sam's income do you think comes from the eight point, from the education allowance, and from the 6A2 bonus? Um, all of them. Yeah, but how many percent? What's the breakdown? Don't ask me about numbers again. <laughs> oh, oh you're the guy. Yeah, okay. All right, okay, okay. I'm gonna show you guys, all right? I'm gonna show you. So let me just say this. I'm getting from my eight points commission, right? I'm getting about I'm getting about I'm getting about I'm getting about three I'm getting about maybe three 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 percent, three to four percent. Okay. I'm I'm getting one percent from my six A education allowance. I'm getting around ninety six percent from my six A two commissions. Okay, so the eight point commission is good, but the bulk of my commission is coming from my six A two commissions. Let me show you this. Let me just show you this. And just quickly, just to highlight and quickly to like clarify for those of you who don't understand, the six, uh, yeah. the, the, the eight point commission is this is where your 1A, 2A, 3A, okay? Remember, you're it's anywhere between 250 euros up to about, two, about 1500 euros on the K8. The, the educational allowance, this is your, after you become a 6A, this is where you get about 100 pounds for everybody out of your eight points. And then the 6A2 is 20 pounds for everybody. Um, that's when you become 6A2. Okay, everybody out of the eight points. All right, now can you guys see this chart that I, I, I posted on the screen? Yes? You can, right? Okay, great. Now, I want you to take a note. The, the blue color is my eight point commissions. So this is from the time when I first started back nine years ago. As you can see, March 11, all right? So in the first three months, I, I wasn't a 6A yet. So I, I only could be earning the eight points commission. Now it was only in the fourth month because I turned a six A in my at the in my third month. So I started getting I started getting my education allowance on my fourth month. All right. And you see that the green color six A two, right? I became a six A two in twelve months in March. So I started getting my first commission from a six A two commission from my thirteen month onwards. I need you to see that, you know. It started off very slowly, but over time, right, 
the green one accounted for the bulk of my total commissions. Okay. So that, 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 so these are the key distinctions that I want to share with you. Um, now, I'd like to uh, now move on to do a quick recap. By the way, has, uh, has, has any of you gotten some, some, some new ideas, some new, new distinctions from, from this, uh, this session that we've been having? I've been speaking for over an hour now. Have you all been getting any new distinctions here? Great, thank you. So, I'm just want to do a. Can we do a quick recap now, Anthony? Yeah. 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 Okay. So now. So we talk about. I first. I first started off talking about you know. The that people are saying that this thing is expensive, but you have to look at what is expensive. Expensive compared to what? Is it expensive compared to the value that you're getting? Of course not, right? The second thing you spoke about was that you have to embrace rejection as, as, as part of the, as, as, as. You have to, you have to embrace uh, rejection as part and parcel of, of this game. So SW, SW, some will, some won't, so what next? So it's all a numbers game. The next, next one I, I shared about the success mantra, which is SD501. All right. Who here loves the new new success mantra? As if I want from a show of hands. Who will be who will be showing? You know, if you can get your guys right, you have to get your guys to show. Oh, sorry, something I forget. Okay, let me just go back to, to the first to the to the to, to, to this uh, to, to the second one. You have to some will, some won't. So what next? The other thing I which is not shown here is you have, you have to inoculate. You have to inoculate your yourself and as well your new people uh, the new prospects that you come in or your new disputes your new disputes you have to under promise them you have to get them you have to prepare them for reject for rejections now i want to recommend a book a very important book right and this book it's going to change it's going to change your game all right and uh can anthony can you type the name of the book into the chat box, all right. Uh, and uh, later on, uh, it's anyway. It's, it's called uh, your first year. Your first year in network marketing, by Mark Yanel. And what you want, what you want to do is you want to get the abridged version, not the full version. Get the abridged version so that it's much easier to read, all right. So the next thing here is uh, the success mantra, SD five hundred one, which is you want to show to demo to five. 101 people. And you want to tell this to all your people down, all your new distributors. Tell them that the, the success mantra is you need to show to 501 people. All right. Next, we talk, spoke about a 10x rule. So you can't just, uh, you if you really want to, to be successful in, in anything you do in life, not only the Kangen business, in anything you do in life, you have to go 10x. All right. Grant Cardone is the name of, is, is the, name of the author. The next thing that we spoke about was the three types of customers. You have to look for sellers, the type three, okay? And after that, I spoke about the people's three most important things. Money, money is important in everybody's life. So don't be too shy to talk about money. Then we shared about, I spoke about marketing versus selling. And if you're not doing, the thing is, if you're not getting enough sales in this business, is the reason is you're not doing enough marketing. Next is, uh, I spoke about, Showing the four categories protocol. This is mandatory. All right. The next thing is about well, we didn't show you the value of a customer. But you need to come to the essential kind workshop to come uh, to to check to to understand what what I'm talking about here. The last and uh, the last one was I showed to you, uh, and these are for the people who are really serious about getting a uh, recurring income. It is. I showed to you that the bulk of my income is coming from a third type of commissions. All right. So there you are. So the success mantra, I'm then just I'm just gonna play this out. So hang on, success mantra is show demo to 501 people. All right. You gotta go 10x. You gotta inoculate and under promise. You gotta show the three types of customers. 
I mean, I'll share with you this. All right. And I say that the easiest person to speak to sell to is the third type of people. Because, because money is very important to people. Right? Marketing and selling. And whether your current mode of marketing is is it good enough? Four Cadix protocol. All right. So that's it. That's my share for today. Uh, so I'm going to uh, pass the floor back to uh, Anthony and Liam. So, yeah, thanks, Sam, for sharing all these insights with us today. I just wanted to do, just ask, there's a few questions, well, there's not many questions here, but um, just, is there any advice you can give us during this time now, obviously, of the COVID-19, um, you know, with what's happening? We're having a lot of mixed messages with people saying, you know, that people won't buy now because they're holding on to their money and they're losing their jobs or, you know, people saying people's mindsets are changing because they're looking more into the health. What would be your sort of, sort of like golden nugget advice during this time? You know, in an in industry like ours, uh, it's called network marketing, right? Um, it is, our past experience has, has always been that our, this industry is recession proof. Because when in, in in the downturn, in the downturn, people lose their jobs, people's business are affected, right? And um, do you see a higher demand for people wanting to make money, guys? Yeah. Right. And if they are out of a job, if their business goes bust, they have to look for some other. They have to look for for a replacement income, don't they? Of course. So, if they have a, if they have invested if they have invested one hundred thousand pounds or one million thousand pounds in the business which is not working out, and you here we have a business franchise which is going for three thousand pounds. Uh, let's talk about, I mean, I'm talking about those businessmen, and how about an employee, an employee in the UK, right? How much would they be making a month? What two one thousand five hundred quid to around right? around two and a half thousand a month on average. Yeah. Okay, two and a half thousand a month. Now for them, now they are they are out of a job. So is there any social welfare that they can get from the government? Is, is the government able to pay them that? The government's offering it to self-employed people and then there's other help from employed people as well but yeah they're only paying up to i think it's 2500 pound for self-employed wow okay so so what i'm saying is this what i'm saying is this downturn this uh, this this crisis that we are facing right now right can actually present itself as an opportunity can I just share something just, as well? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Please, please. Um, just to add to that too, um, I was actually on a live webinar yesterday from Success Resources. I don't know if any of you joined from there. There was um, Alan and, and Sandy yeah, that was, was on there. And yeah, so Sandy shared that um, during, this, during the last three, four weeks, you know, with, 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 with the COVID-19, yeah, obviously it's, it's affecting a lot of people who are, you know, working nine to five, self-employed. But he says in the network marketing industry, there are people earning around, uh, between 8,000 to 15,000 pounds every single week still at the moment. And they'll continue to earn that kind of money in this industry. And, um, and, and just to share also that I have some, some ex colleagues of mine that, you know, that were working at, at Burberry. Um, there were, um, and also speaking to some, some people who just opened up the restaurant um, uh, uh, a, a few months ago and they're all going through the same thing they've had to shut down they have to lock down they've had to lay staff off you know yes governments are offering uh, uh, like a handout uh, but but that is an employee reliant on the government to, 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 make, to make them the handout you know why not why not you know take that responsibility into your own hands take that business into your own hands um, you know people friends and family who's had been made redundant from my ex-colleague that they they reached out to me in a, a few weeks ago and now you said, you know, I wish I started my own business. I wish, you know, I, 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 took, out, I took out a loan, you know, or, or I put the, the machine on a credit card for a few thousand pounds. So now I don't have to 
be in this situation, you know, with having, having to feed the family. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, there are people that are still generating income, you know, in Nagic offices all around the world, um, you know, particularly with, with, with Germany for us here, we are still shipping. Germany is still shipping. They're still processing orders, you know, and how many of you now, when you go out, how many of you do you see people buying bottled water? Yeah. How many of you now appreciate and now feel grateful that you have a Kanga machine at home? And san- hand sanitizer as well. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. The 2.5. <laughs> right. Well, also uh, just- okay. I want- sorry. Sorry. I, I, sorry I, I want to touch a bit on the hand, hand, sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Okay. Now, PH2.5 does kill bacteria. All right. Perhaps viruses, I'm not, I cannot, I cannot say with certainty, but there's, there was a message going around that saying that, saying that the, what, the, the COVID-19 is, yeah, it was, it, it was people a protein. Yeah, still in that, yeah. It's, so it's a protein, so, so you can't really kill it. Yeah. Uh, but you can use the 11.5 though. You can use the 11.5 to wash it off. Yeah, just to add to that too, Enagic, did send out uh, an email to everybody. I'm sure all the leaders have received it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys receive the email? And we posted it in the, in the superhumans group to say that there are some distributors making claims uh, that 2.5 kills coronavirus. So just guys, just be extremely very, very careful here. And the, 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 the choice of words you choose to use here, because it is a very sensitive topic. It is a very, very touchy subject. Partly because, you know, we want to look after you. Yes, you know, there are a lot of evidence and science-based facts evidence to say 2.5 can kill, um, you know, it can kill, you know, bacteria. And, um, but again, you guys want to be very careful because the FDA and the government now at this point, more than ever, are keeping a very close eye on people making claims, making, you know, scientific health claims. So it's just really to protect you guys. All right. So just be, just be mindful of that. I think Paul had a question. Did you want to say something, Paul? Yeah, um, I have. I've had the email as well a couple of times from the company regarding the. You're not allowed to say that the 2.5 can kill the coronavirus. However, on, on YouTube we have a uh, Dr. Horst Fitzler, who is a medical advisor for Enagic, and he categorically says it does kill coronavirus so it's just a case of, you know why is this being said well I, I mean that was I think that was the video that was that was the video that was originating out and um, I think which started the whole thing from Enagic and um, because I don't think, you know, that was his statement, but, in, you know, we don't have anything to back it up with. There's no actual laboratory tests or anything. I mean, you know, in Germany, they've put the 2.5 under different kinds of bacteria and viruses, and it has shown to kill these different things. But, you know, until there's a, a, a fully um, accredited um, laboratory test, I, I think it's just to, because also the thing is you've got to remember is that it's not produced the same in from everybody's house. You know, you've got people in India that have got three, three-phase filters, RO systems. Here in the UK, we've got people with no filtration, so we've got hard water. So if we say 2.5, everyone, you know, that it's, you know, running different speeds, everyone's 2.5 strength, I think, is slightly different. So, in, you know, we can't just say it's coming from the same machine, everything is going to be exactly the same. So it's just more to, because somebody could be running their 2.5 flat out, you know, and the machine's beeping, but they're trying to fill up a two liter bottle and it's not actually going to be as potent. So it's, I think it's more just to, you know, to be safe for everyone really. Yeah. I mean, there is no doubt that 2.5 is very beneficial. I use it in my house, in my kitchen all the time. or I carry it around with me all the time, right? You guys, you guys do this too. And so that interview on YouTube between one American distributor, John and, and, and Dr. Holtz, uh, that, you know, that was from, from a doctor, it was a bit of a slip of the mouth at that particular point. But I think some, 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 some members of Enagic has, has requested uh, that YouTube be taken down. So, you know, I don't know where they are with that. So just be mindful of what you, what you preach out there in public, particularly in mass social media. We can still, we can still promote, obviously, 2.5. There was a question. We can still promote 2.5 as a sanitizer because, yes. you know, it, can, it does disinfect. So, you know, we can still promote it, but let's, they just don't want us to use those two words together. 
you know, Corona with, 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 with 2.5. Okay. Any other questions for Sam or Sam, is there anything else you would like to cover before we wrap up here today or? There's one, one more question, just a quick one. What is the best method to share the value to your prospect in your first meeting or first demo? That's from uh, Che Wang in Bhutan. Huh? Che Wang, yeah, in Bhutan, yeah. So what's the question again? What's the best method to share the value? The demo. Your prospect. The demo is the key, all right? So just just remember this this thing. People will people will doubt what what they hear from you, right? People will doubt what they hear, but they will believe what they see. There's a there's a mantra that we have for the Kangen business. And many of you who have attended the Essential Kangen workshop will know what it is. What is it? What is it, guys? What is the mantra for Kangen? No demo. No demo. No, demo, no, sale. no sale. No sales. <laughs> okay. No demo, no sale. Because, because by people watching the demo, right, it, it is so conclusive. Now people, people has got to believe it, right? The demo itself. I mean, and of course, once they've seen the demo, right, at least now, now they, now, now, now they, are, they, are, they seeing some, some, some uh, possibility that it works, and after that. And some of them, they can make a decision at that moment. But of course, uh, there's some, there'll be a, a lot of, I mean, we are naturally very, very skeptical. So they will go and do more, more research, go to YouTube to listen to all the, all the testimonials worldwide to understand that, that the machine works for a lot of people. So again, it's still the demo. You got to invite them for a demo to see a demo. See one? So that, yeah, like, that's my uh, that's my answer to you. Yeah, like how many of you, when you first saw the demo, you were blown away? You were like, you know, when you saw the colors change, you were like, wow, you know, you see it turn from orange to green to blue to purple. <laughs> and how many of you were blown away when you tasted that tomato for the first time? And when you when you saw that oil emulsify, yeah. So you know, just imagine if you if you took that experience away from your prospects. You know, the, 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 you know, you're, you're taking the experience away, and you know they won't see the same value that you experience. And um, and, and Sam always shares this: um, don't sell the uh, don't sell the machine, you sell the demo. Exactly. So really, that's the key. Don't sell the machine, sell the demo. I've I've spoken to so many people, right? They love the machine so much, but they've never.